And then, reluctantly, Phil Everly came through the Berlin Wall to play a concert with his old friend. It was very depressing, in fact, it had me scared when I got off the plane because it's snowing and all of that. Corrugated steel building with a guard. Christine was on the other side. Dean was so popular there and so well known that, that um, your treatment once you got in there was, was phenomenal, the fact that you were coming there to see him. But um, I was scared until I saw him, actually. I told him that, too. Phil found East Berlin a little less welcoming. First room I had was so narrow. Maybe I was a spoiled American that I am, you know. But I mean, you had to see it to believe it. And I called Dean, I said, I can't stay here two weeks. Dean got me to a corner room, which was twice as big, and got me one of the two televisions in that hotel. You could see uh, West Berlin television, so I watched Bonanza in German, you know. But it was so American, I loved it. <laughs> Dean was a good laugher, and um, you could talk politics, because as we may not have agreed on our, because I was a Reagan supporter, you know, so I shows you how far I was from Dean, but I respected Dean's political views, because Dean had political views that he lived. this man the one being hounded for autographs in downtown Moscow you probably don't